Welcome to the SAFE facility, Standard in Aviation Fuel Education. I'm here with Mike and we're going to have a look around at the facility and look at the different filtration types we, and sensor types we're going to show here and where we're going to do our training on. And I hope we are going to be able to give Mike a new view on some of the stuff yeah. and some new ideas. I'm looking forward to it, Marcus. I'm absolutely sure I'm going to learn a lot about filtration that I never, ever knew existed. I'm, I'm sure you know. Yeah. But, Mike, what is this? It's a, even I know. That's a strainer, Marcus. I can do that one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's yeah. have a look into the strainer. Yeah. Yeah. What we intend to do here is to have all the setups of all the equipment like it would be real in real life. Yeah. Yeah. Here, we have a 200 yeah. micron mesh strainer. Right. Yeah. You know, and you can see the mesh inside here. And yeah. you can easily look through and you know yeah. it's yeah. not you one micron. Hand through that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. we want to train on this one here how to install, uninstall, how to clean it in a proper way. Yeah. Why? Because it's still in a lot of facilities you will find strainers yeah. Yeah. and people are not used to really handle them because all the trainings, yeah. all the eye trainings and everything is on microfilters for the water separators and yeah. so on. Yeah. But not on strainers. But they're there. Well, that's certainly a very clean strain, Marcus, I think. Uh, luckily, yeah, yeah and yeah. good for us yeah. because we can touch yeah. it with our yeah. bare hands and yeah. we do not have any issues. Right. And that is really yeah. the idea about SAFE. We want to have training here. Yeah. You are in a clean environment. You don't have the fumes of hydrocarbons or anything. Yeah. And we can work here safely yeah. and we can ask questions safely. And that's we can great. learn safely. Excellent. Very okay, good. I would suggest yeah. we close the strainer yeah. and take the step to the next. Yeah. Next Indeed. filtration, yeah. Yeah. and that oh. is already yeah. something which is according EI yeah. 1581. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That is a filter water separator, but a very specific one, a very yeah. small one, used mainly for re helicopter refueling and right. such, right. which has yes. already all the requirements, you know, really pressure safety one. valve, yeah. air eliminator, yeah. Yeah. Okay. and even the differential pressure right. with the piston type. Right. An old gammon gauge there, I see. Oh, yeah. we got gammon here. Yeah. <laughs> Good well news. Done, Jim. Yeah, well done, Jim. And this has got the separator element at the, at the bottom and built in sort of thing. Yes. What yeah. we do here is we have yeah. reversed yeah. The separator flow. Right. Here, the separator flow is from the in to the out. Right. Yeah. This is how yeah. we are able to achieve that small size yeah. and the yeah. small yeah. setup. Yeah. With that, we can use standardized coalescers here. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to have others similar in the size but a different setup. But it, this is just to show how this one works. We're able to work on that one here and, and have a look and explain and why it's important to do the different things. We've got a drain point down there. Yeah, yeah. So everything is there. Everything's everything was there. And the pressure relief at the top. Yeah. Okay. And nice one. Yeah, it's a small one, not very known to the big yeah. airports, but on the smaller airports, yeah. Yeah. quite a way. Yeah. Yeah. What we have yeah. here is on every of our stations, we have a toolbox. Right. The idea is that we are able right. to have all the tools available yeah. for the people to do the real work. Yeah. That yeah. includes all the torque wrenches yeah. and the special nuts you may yeah. need for, for different elements and yeah. for different yeah. applications. Yeah. As soon as we touch elements, we need to wear gloves. Luckily, Mike, today I don't make you change elements. No, thank you. <laughs> Just showing you. Right. I appreciate the, uh, the opportunity <laughs> not to make a fool of myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. now we're talking more real deal. Yeah. We this now have here a horizontal filter water separator, yeah. and which includes all the accessories we can find around. Yeah. And we have installed elements in there. Right. So all of that is right. available. We have a connected right. outlet and inlet, yeah. differential pressure. Yeah. All is there. All the same things, pressure relief. Air eliminators and uh, and a um, automatic drainage, automatic drainage, and a water level uh, sensor. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Can we have a look inside? Yep. Oh, Hooray. you have been to the gym I recently. Have. I have, <laughs> obviously, obviously. So what you see here yeah. is in that environment what we use on the coalescers. It is open-ended, and right now we look at the separators, which are screw-based separators. Mm -hmm. Yeah. which is quite unusual, yeah. but in yeah. a lot of cases we try to use screw-based separators because they make life on the installation side a little bit easier. Okay. Yeah. Looks good. 
Yep. Nice. Important here. And what, what sort of flow rate would this one be running? That is about uh, 3,000 yeah. plus liters per minute. Yeah. So it's rather yeah. small. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if we go for yeah. bigger vessels, yeah. we go up to 9,500. But, you know, for us it's important yeah. to show yeah. horizontal design yeah. and later on, yeah. if we are lucky and wake it to that point, we will see yeah. vertical design. But very much a fixed facility. Time that is absolutely fixed. Yeah. But the same setup yeah. would be good also for yeah. mobile equipment. Right. It will be look alike, but it will have a different flow rate because yeah. of different yeah. requirements yeah. according 1581. Yeah. Yeah. And people will be able to practice removing the elements, changing the elements, finding out how difficult it is to screw them in and yes. all the rest of it. You know, touch, yeah. feel and work. Yeah. You know, so far our train the trainer concept was about doing training yeah. in a room and just yeah. show people yeah. that one person is doing it. And here, everybody should be doing it. And everybody should use the torque wrench. Everybody should use all the tools yeah. Yeah. which are here yeah. to help them to do the job properly. Nice. Very good. I like okay. It. Right. Then we Very close good. it a little more strict. So what we have here is yeah. just some tools we yeah. found helpful. You know, yeah. we, we have this, what is it called, Mike, in English? A tray. A tray. A tray. We have that train tray, tray, a drift tray, yeah. really, yeah. then, yeah. where we can do also the separator yeah. testing. Yeah. Yeah. And that is something we also want to make clear to people that you need to be prepared. It's not just good and open it and say, oh, what I'm doing now? Yeah. Yeah. You need to be prepared. Yeah. What do you need? Yeah. We're going to have some other drip yeah. things there as well, where you can dry also the separators and the coalescers. Yeah. Yeah. We show that also in our uh, test rig. Right. So we have yeah. all of the equipment for the people yeah. to do the real thing. Yeah. But this is all right. You've got in your other bit. You've got the where you can yes. do the wet type stuff. Right? In the test rig, we do. Yeah. We, we could do also yeah. here water and so yeah. on, but we decided not to do it. We have it in one place. It's also better for all people. Mm. You know, otherwise you're standing in water here, or you yeah. know, maybe some something yeah. is slippery. Yeah. This has all been done in the test rig. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right, yes, let's move on. I named something oh. new to you. Yes. Oh, wow. That is something different. Yeah. It looks like a vertical filter water separator, but it is a microfilter and it's a small microfilter. We're using yeah. four inch microfilter elements in here, right. which have an O-ring seating. Yeah. So the setup is completely different. Right. But what is standard, we got still the air eliminator, yeah. we got still the yeah. um, safety valve, we got the differential pressure here. Yeah. Yeah, Jim, sorry, this time it's not yours. We, we use somebody else's here oh, to show that there is one and more. More than one manufacturer of that, yeah. We got all the sample ports, yeah. Um, yeah. the lining, yeah. all of yeah. that. Yeah. So it is an EI 1596 yeah. compliant vessel, right. and the elements are 1590 compliant, yeah. and therefore we decided to have that. Yeah. Here we see manual drain. Yeah. yeah. And you've got the uh, staging for when you want to access the elements and replace them. We need them. to, because yep. we want to have people training. Yeah. They yeah. should really yeah. work on it. Yeah. And yeah. Therefore, we have a stage here. Yeah. The problem yeah. with the stage is only two people, and we would not be able to take the camera with us. The camera yeah. man yeah. Camera would not fit on there. You've got a cameraman. Yeah, we've yeah. got a cameraman. Okay. We need to have one. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. So, this right. is the small one, right. small right. airports, right. but we also have a full scale one. Right. And that is over there. I suggest we move over there to the yep. real one. Okay. Yep. And when we'll see here, here is a standard vertical six inch microfilter with all the accessory needed. You know, you got the sample probe again, the sample port again, the pressure line right. assembly, and we yep. got, and that is also always important, yep. and this is why we have it also yep. here yep. on that side. Inspection. Inspection yep. opening so that we be able right. to train people, you know, open it, yeah. look into it, what yeah. to expect to find. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should go upstairs and have a look inside the vessel. Very good idea. Off we go, right? I think, um, Arthur, I think this is the first time I've ever seen the top of your head. Um, Jesus, it's on my whole spot. Indeed, indeed. It's nice to know that you're on your way as well. Right, now what have we got here? Hey. That is slightly something. It is yes. a microfilter vessel, yeah. and we have installed here yeah. microfilters, yeah. open end filter elements, but also screw base elements. Right. And we have adapters yeah. down there. Yeah. And I just want to take one up for you of the yeah. adapters. This is where you really start to learn about uh, the detail of uh, the filters, eh? Yeah. Wow. So this is an adapter yeah. which 
yeah. supports the element so that it will always be in a situation mm -hmm. that it is in the right spot. So okay. it's really sealing properly. Yeah. So it self centers the. Self centers, uh, exactly. Yeah. Well, but what we have yeah. here as well is we have yeah. an O ring on the other side, yeah. which should be changed over time. And a lot of people forget about that. Yeah. Yeah. And so it is important that we yeah. are able to show these things yeah. to people yeah. so that they really remember and that they're able yeah. to really make it happen. So okay. yeah. I'll let that down again where it belongs. Yeah. That's it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I think now we should be having a look at the other side of the road, or the next step, I would call it. Yeah. After a microfilter mic, yeah. what do we expect? We, as an airport, we'd expect a filter water to Yeah. <laughs> Let's go and have a look at it. Yeah. Yes. And this is enormous. Look at that. It is a rather big one. It is. <coughs> it is. Yeah. Again, we talk Amazing. stationary vessel here, and after the microfilter, we want to have a filter water separator because we want to take out the water. Right. The dirt has been taken care of by the microfilter, and now we would look at yeah. this one. And again, we have here <coughs> screw base adapters as well as flat base adapters. The idea behind it is that in some installations, you will see one or the other. In some, you have make a mixer. Yeah. Yeah. For the training purpose, it is important that people learn both ways right. and yes. that they are able to cope yeah. with the different types of it. Yeah. We then have yeah. a box here with the toolings yeah. and, and all yeah. the uh, equipment which we have. And we saw the adapter on the microfilter on the one side where it was below there. And right. we now have here on top, that is for the top side. So we make right. sure that it is right. also yeah. self-centered yeah. 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 Uh, so that it is easy for people really yeah. to install them in the right way. In the right way, absolutely. Good stuff. And you have three separator elements here. Yes. And the rest of the coalescers. Yeah. And we got nine coalescers. Yeah. And a standard vessel, to be quite clear, we would not have those mixtures between yeah. screw base and flat base. It would have one type. But on yeah. training purpose, yeah. it is important that we show both of it. Yep. Yeah. And also make clear how they are connected yeah, yeah. to to yeah. the cent yeah. to the, yeah. Yeah. the spider plate, yeah. so to make yeah. sure that these things are properly aligned. Yeah. And the great thing about not being at an airport is you can do what you want. Yep. Indeed. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And again, yeah. no smell, no fuel, but we have something special on this vessel as well, because as we have before, yeah. we have safety valves yeah. and air eliminator. Yeah. But here it looks slightly different because we have now a flange version. Right. It was important for us to cover all of those different yeah, types okay. and meanings, yeah. not all on the same yeah. vessel, right. but in a way that people understand, okay, I can't have it flanged, I can't have it threaded. Both have advantages and disadvantages. Uh, one is quite clear, it's a cost disadvantage, but it's a service advantage. One of the things I always think is, is amazing when you look at these vessels, just the sheer weight of, of the top, and, and to think, over in history, we have blown the top off these things when we've tried to fill them too quickly. Yeah. Maybe yeah, because it's like a remember bomb. diesel engine. We got the fumes of the jet fuel yeah. and we compress yeah. it in a very yeah. fast way. This is how a diesel engine works. And you got static discharging yeah. on top of it, so you got yeah. what you need yeah. oxygen plus fuel plus ignition. And yeah. then you go. Okay, yeah. Amazing. let's right. see downstairs yeah. because. The filter water separator is again slightly different to the microfilter. Yeah. But here's the oh. pressure different differential gauge. Yeah, yeah. yeah that is. Yeah. This time we show here a non-piston type, which is also yeah. accepted by the EI 5096, yeah. because it is important also that people understand most probably that this is the future yeah. of differential pressure measurement, especially yeah. on stationary yeah. equipment, because. You know, a lot yes. of systems have already yes. got a system for their tanks and 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 and, yeah. and to import this data there is much easier. And you have a constant view of it, and data rules. So yeah. it's yeah. important to go and right. be prepared for that. Okay. Okay. We'll go Let's down. go downstairs. Yeah. You can look at the top of my head now. Same view you always get. Yeah. So here you can see the flange size is significantly different yeah. to the one of the other filter yeah. yeah. That's one part. You get still. The drain point here, you got the differential pressure measurement here. Yeah. Again, yeah. this is flange, while we saw it on other occasions yeah. where it was yeah. just threaded in. Yeah. Yeah. On this vessel, everything is flanged. Okay. Yeah. So this is the outlet. We have here the uh, sampling, sampling yeah. probe. Yeah. Yeah. And we got here also yeah. a different level gauge, right. which is more robust, which yeah. gives um, you know a little bit more 
safety for the the user so not to break a, it too easy. This is just a manual uh, drain point. Yeah? In a lot of places it is still manual yeah. because there is some requirement from Jika and others to have manual drain. Yeah. We just want to be open for all different types and all different ways to do it. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think now we are finished with yeah. going into the hydrant really. What? What now would be coming there, we would now have something on the mobile equipment side. And that is around the corner on the other side. Okay. Okay, so what we've got here is this. This is a monitor vessel. That is a monitor okay. vessel. But it has been retrofitted to take up dirty fence, which is not really retrofit, it's just a change out of elements. Right. So the idea about it is to show people that you can use monitor vessel and put yeah. other elements in. Right. As soon as we get our hands on other yeah. types of elements, yeah. which are not allowed yeah. now allowed in some areas yeah. of the world, yeah. we'll put yeah. them in as well to yeah. show people, okay, capabilities, how yeah. you handle that, yeah. how you do that. So you could put water barrier filters in there. For example, yeah. yeah? yeah. And if there is something else, we want yeah. to put that in as well. Yeah. Yeah. We want to be unbiased, as yeah. said before. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We want to be able to tell people, okay, you choose yeah. your technology. Yeah. We can tell you how to install all of those. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? yeah. And there's the, uh, the um, uh, what do you call those? I've got the interlocks. Interlocks, that's what they are. Yeah, we yeah. just want to make sure that it is quite clear that we can use different type of interlocks, yeah. Yeah. but uh, that you are still able to you know, have them installed and show people how to install them yeah. and what is the purpose of them. What are we doing with them? So that is really that part. So. That is yeah. the monitor, yeah. the smallest vessel yeah. with the highest flow capacity. Yeah. Yeah. We have been on the six inch coalescer. We didn't put up a six inch mobile equipment because it's the same setup. Yeah. But what we did is we put up something else, which is yeah. a two inch coalescer yeah. system, which yeah. we call FW24. Can I, 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 can I try and open it? Okay. Ah, yeah. easy. Lovely, <laughs> lovely. Again, nice. the gym pays off. Yes. <laughs> so, that is yeah. a different setup because what we have here is we had adapters yeah. and screw base elements which have been sitting on the deck plate. Yeah. Here, the screw base is in the deck plate. Right. So we have the yeah. thread in the deck plate. And that is right. also important for people to understand yeah. what does it mean, how to fasten yeah. those elements yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. And we have a four inch closed end cap, right. which has yeah. a different torque setting again. Yeah. So with that, we have a situation that is important yeah. that people understand how to treat those vessels. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these uh, these coalescer elements are uh, are really neat, eh? Uh, yeah, they're, they're yeah. two inch, so yeah. they have the size of a yeah. monitor or yeah. of a dirt defense yeah. there, yeah. or of yeah. other right. technologies. Yeah. yeah. So right. it is all about that people yeah. will learn yeah. here yeah. a way to install, to treat yeah. the equipment yeah. in the proper way. Yeah. And the flow rate of this vessel compared to the. Uh, that is now a 4,190 liter vessel is per it? minute. Oh, well, yeah. It's, it's rather yeah. high volume. Yeah. Yeah. That one is much slower. That is about 2,000, 2,500. Yeah. So big, but not too big. Yeah. In relation yeah. to a six yeah. inch vessel, yeah. small. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. That's okay. Great. Since we talk about mobile equipment, yeah. you know, uh, especially on mobile equipment, we see a lot of sensing equipment yeah. coming yeah. up nowadays. And I would suggest that we yeah. show also the audience what kind of sensing equipment we have in here. Yeah, yeah we prepared there something, yeah. Yeah. and I would suggest that we go in there. I'm interested in that. Okay, yeah. let's see. Here at the sensor equipment place, so we see here in front the off guard, then the slot guard. We have a CCS system, which is the controller for the off guard to be JIC compliant. We see already a lamp, another slot guard, loop testing. There is a DP guard. A printer, and we now have here some of the flow meters which are off guard ready. There is the TCS and the Alfonsar, and we're going to have Ezoil and LC here as well. Another off guard, and there is a setup to show how to introduce uh, the P transducer together with the normal piston type uh, differential pressure measurement. We now have uh, some other equipment which is going to be used on some of our. Uh, dispensers. We have a dispenser here which we're going to have a look at later on and so we have brand new bonding reels, sample glass, that man and in the end of the line we see our DP switch which should be incorporated nowadays on all the equipment which is still using monitor or has monitoring use 
and is still to be used in our view with all equipment to make the whole situation safer. Here we see our dispenser. That is uh, a huge dispenser we were able to achieve, which was fully functional until the last day. We're still using it for some entertainment for kids, like you know, giving them some elevation. We have all the right equipment, all used but still usable. And what we want to show with that is also that we are incorporating sensor equipment, but also other equipments here, and we are able to provide capability of training for other tools, couplings, meters, and so on, if people are interested in that. So we, as I said, that is fully usable. We now need to go around the corner to meet Mike again, because he's waiting there for us. Hey. Ah, here you are, Mike. Yes, I've been waiting by the filter. Fa oh, the waiting. most important part of yeah. that dispenser. See what's going on here. And I've been practicing opening it. Again, oh, this, oh, is, oh. this is a lot heavier and harder, but it's pretty good. Yeah, it is an old type. So My left arm is pretty good. Right, so what have we got here, Marcus? It's, uh, it looks, um, looks uh, different in here. It is slightly different. Yeah. So we talk about it was conceptive like a six inch monitor vessel. Right. Okay. And we retrofitted it to a six inch direct defense vessel. Right. You may see that the ceiling here is slightly different to what we had. We want to be open to show different types of ceiling because it's important for our customers and the trainees that they see right. that they're different types. The right. concept should always be to have a good ceiling. Right. And the same is true yeah. for the for the place. Yeah. That is a different concept, but right. it still works. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So as a spider plate, yeah. that works absolutely. And I can't help but notice the sensor here. Yeah. There is a yeah. sensor, yes. Yeah. And in this case, it is yeah. installed in the inlet uh, because it's closer here for the show purpose. And we also want to make sure that people in trainings yeah. are learning yeah. where to put the sensor. Right. Not yeah. that there is already a socket, yeah. but yeah. that they yeah. need to learn and understand right. why yeah. there are different places yeah. where it's not good and where it is good. So we're going to incorporate that also in our certified installer training right. for sensors. Okay. So we're going to, right. you know, not right. only filtration, not right. only in the normal right. boundary, but it right. is going to be also about yeah. doing it for certified install. Okay. Yeah. What we're not going to do, and I remember that in Thornton, uh, Phil Rugen had this setup where he was able to simulate a flow through into a hydrant system or into an aircraft. Uh, maybe later, right. <laughs> but not now. Not straight away. Not straight away. Hey. Excellent. Well, thanks a lot. I've, I've learned an awful lot, Marcus. I really uh, enjoy it. You've got a fantastic setup. And uh, thanks for explaining it all to me. Thank you for joining us on that yeah. tour. Yeah. And uh, I learned that I need to improve my English a little bit. <laughs> but otherwise, well, I need to go always yeah. in front of you so you, you don't see my yeah. bold spot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. And Thank you, everybody. Yeah. And uh, if there are any questions, yeah. put them in the chat, yeah. as I said before, yeah. and we are happy to answer them. We're going live in some minutes yeah. again. Yeah. And just for the record, I'm not really this small. It's just, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, just, just it's just Marcus makes me look. <laughs> okay. See you later, guys. Yeah.